Good day to you, everybody. Today is Friday, uh, February 19th, 2010. And I want to let you know that it has come to my attention that there are people who talk like this sometimes. Usually very intellectual type of people, philosophical men. And women. And they seem to maybe, when they first start their sentences, kind of, uh, they, they start it at a rapid pace. And gradually, as they get to the end of their sentence, well, that's when they slow it down. So I just thought that maybe I would have a try to have a conversation with you guys about this matter when I started the video blog for February 19, 2010. Guys, I hope you've had a wonderful week, and I hope you're looking forward to a good weekend. I, I'm, I'm just a jokester sometimes, you know? I'm just a jokester. That's what it is. That's what it do. There's more important news, though, today. Uh, yesterday, a uh, uh, very unfortunate event took place. A man by the name of Joseph Stack uh, uh, allegedly crashed his airplane, committed suicide, um, on a, on a kamikaze flight, so to speak, into a government building. And, uh, you know, you know, he released a, a letter um, talking about a lot of his frustrations uh, with the government and the IRS in particular. And, um, guys, you know, you know, I, um, you know, as well, among many others, I'm sure, in this country are, are pretty fed up at a lot of things going on right now. But that is not the answer. That is not the answer. You know, um, first of all, committing suicide is never the answer. And second of all, taking the lives of other people. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it is frustrating, I think, to, you know, to live in a, in a, in a country. And, in a, and I'm, I'm sure just if I were in that man's shoes to see the things he had seen and, and been put through the things he had been put through. Sounds like he lost a lot and everything. But, you know, um, even when, when, when losing a lot, you know, look at Joe. Look at the story of Job. You know, everything was stripped from that man. Everything was stripped from that man. His, his, his family, you know, his riches, his wealth, uh, his livestock, um, you know, all of his children. He had like 10, 11, 12 kids, something like that. All of them. You know, and, um, you know, and even through the midst of losing all of that, losing all of that, you know, he didn't seek to commit suicide. He didn't seek to avenge himself or, or his family or anything like that. You know, um, the man remained faithful. He remained faithful to the Lord. And, uh, you know, I guess if you don't know the Lord, when you lose that much, it can put you in a pretty dangerous place. So I encourage you, if you don't know the Lord, I encourage you to get to know Him. Get to know Him. Because he loves you, and there's a peace and a joy that you can experience even in the midst of so much loss. To where it won't bring you to ruin like that. It won't bring you to commit suicide and take the lives of others. You know, and uh, I don't know, guys. I, I, I think today we, you know, in this weekend, you know, we should just definitely be praying uh, for the, the family of Joseph Stack. Um, praying that there aren't others who are going to take from his example. Um, you know, I, I'd hate to see a long string of these events occur, you know, now, um, uh, in, in light of the situation. And, and, you know, we should be praying for the families of, the, you know, those who, who uh, might have had people in the government building, you know, that died and whatnot. So, anyway, um, uh, I, I definitely hope to see you guys Monday. Thank you for watching, all of you on YouTube, MySpace, and Facebook, and uh, yeah, have a great weekend.